Hi friends, it's Star Thrifter and I have a thrift haul to share with you today. I got some really cool items. One of them is brand new with tags, um, Smart Wool, and I got a CC Filson. If you're not familiar with that, CC Filson is a very um, bolo for, for the men's category. It's like probably one of the top tier ones. Anyhow, we'll get right into it. I got some issues with the lighting here. It's not... These cords are a little screwed up. Okay, hopefully that'll get us enough room. This item I looked up. Now this is, you know, like the, the sweaters, you know, like the Kugi sweaters, but it's not a Kugi. And I bought another one the other day too. You know, kind of considered like a 3D sweater kind of, although this is flat. I'll have to uh, figure out what to do about that. But this is the brand here. And it's Tundra. And I looked this up. And this still, um, re um, this would sell for use uh, between $50 and $100. That's a really great uh, price. I did have to pay a regular price for this. It was $13.99. I didn't get it, you know, um, on sale. And while I was searching at this one and another one, it was another brand. But that one didn't, you know, comp out that great. A young kid was there. And he walked up to me and says, are those your sweaters? And I had them on the card. And I was like, you yeah. know. And uh he said, oh, they're really cool. And that was interesting because he was real young, too. Um, <clears throat> this is brand new with tags. And this is an Adidas skirt. <laughs> and I did look these up at the store, and they were all right comps. Um, I had to pay regular price for this. It was $5.99, but they still sold. I I forgot now what it was. It seems like they were maybe $20. 25 to 29 dollars and it's a size large but with spring coming up this will be a great you know thing to list um this i've been really slowing down on picking up this brand and this is life is good unless it's a like a larger size um uh, maybe xl or larger or something really specific this t-shirt is like really great condition i love birds and it's got this little i think it's a little chickadee and um I went ahead and got it. It's an extra, um, it's an extra large and I did pay $2.99, but the fact that it was really cute. Um, but I don't pick up a lot of the other ones anymore because I had found that they just kind of sit. This I had to look up at the store because I knew that Reese is a, a nice brand for men's. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. It's R E I S S. And, um, and I seen this coat. It was a women's it's extra small, but it was wool. And I really debated on getting it because, you know, it's already January um, and I had to pay $11.99. However, the prices were kind of all over. I don't know what the sell through rate was. I don't remember um, what it was, but the prices were all over on, you know, reselling these. I mean, of course I get over 20, but some of them were, you know, quite a bit more money, maybe 50 or closer to a hundred. And I went ahead and got it. Kind of took a chance on that. And the fact that it's an extra small. This, I don't know if this would do any great or not. I got this for a dollar, but it was brand new with tags. And I went ahead and got it because I will explain. Um, I've been trying to pick up things that have a quicker sell through rate or sells for more money. However, I've been listing a lot less because I find less inventory. And um, I used to always list, you know, like 15 a day, you know, for a really, really long period of time. Well, lately it's been more like 10 or 11. I have seen a notice a decrease in sales. Now, it could be different factors, you know, because of, you know, what time of year it is and things like that. But I really think that it has made a difference. I decided to pick up some more bread and butter um, brands, not a ton, but some more to mix in to where I can list more a day. And one of the items I decided was bras because they're small, they're easy to store. And even if I, you know, even if it was a used one and I paid like a dollar or something for it and I sold it for 10, I normally like to sell things over $20, but I figured I would do that. But this is brand new with tags. And um, this is just a, I think it's a, it's a Hanes, you know, this isn't going to, you know, sell for very much, but it is brand new with tags. It's actually a cute little bra, and that was a dollar. Um, this, I don't know how Joe's jeans have been doing lately, and these are straight and skinny, but they are cut off, and really, the flare, 
the boot cut, the kick flare. Those are all, you know, styles you should look for. But I got it for a dollar and I took a chance. This might have been pushing it. And I don't know what size they are. I think they say 28. I hope they don't say 24. But Joe's jeans. Write in the comments if you sell them and how great you've been doing. The fact that they're skinny jeans, I don't know. That's probably, you know, not too great. But like I said, I was going to pick up a few bread and butter stuff. Um, this, I got to look up. But it was really nice. And Salvation Army had originally priced for $10.99. That's, you know, a little up there for uh, Windbreaker. But it's New Balance. I don't normally pick this brand up. And I went ahead and got it and didn't do comps at the store because I thought it was a really nice men's pullover. And it might be, you know, for like maybe running or things like that. Like I said, I will be doing, you know, some comps on this one. That might not suffer very much, but it's packable. It's very light, very nice coat. This is a nice find. I did not realize that London Fog, some of their coats sell for a little bit of money. I don't know how quickly. I'll have to double check sell for rate again on it because I've been packing them up for years, really. But this, I went ahead and picked up when it um, went on sale for a dollar. And I uh, don't know what size this is. Hopefully it's on the other tag. Oh, I think it is. It's a 14 Petite and it's pink. For spring, wouldn't this be a great coat? Now, they will have to pay for shipping, and it's going to be more money for shipping because there's some weight to this. And that's something you got to consider when you are thrifting, but I got it for a dollar. I thought it was worth getting. This. Oh, that's. Okay, then what's this one? Oh, okay, this was new with tags. I looked it up at the store now. Um, I don't remember what, like, the sell-through rate is on this. But Sims, S-I-M-M-S, -M -M -S, can be a nice brand. I think it's like a fishing outdoor brand. And you may find it more with the men's. But they do sell women's. I have a dress listed. But it's been listed for a very long time. But I listed it more closer. It seemed like mid to late summer. And uh, But this is brand new with tags. I did have to pay up for this. It was $12.99. And it's, but it's got the SPF 50 and I thought it was worth getting. It's a hoodie and this would be women's. Um, and this was, you know, I don't remember what they sell for now. Um, I'd like to say maybe 50, but I could be wrong on that. It might be like 30. I almost didn't get this. I did the last minute because at my Salvation Army, you have to buy five packs of five. Like, they're a dollar, but you have to do all fives. You know, five, ten, fifteen, and twenty. And I had to make sure that I had enough for all the bags. This is a Lane Bryant. I don't do that great with Lane Bryant. But this is a very nice winter coat, 22-24 purple. And like I said, I almost didn't get it. I got it for a dollar. but I And it's really heavy, too. And we're getting out of the winter season. Like I said, I wasn't really sure about that one there. I just grabbed the bag today to show you. I, I didn't um, check uh, to see how many pieces there are. I didn't look this up either, and I probably should have. It's an Old Navy, and some Old Navy pieces can sell, but not for a lot and probably not that quick. It's a size large. It's a really nice red trench coat. It's not quite as bright as what it's showing on there. It's a little bit more darker. I don't know, but I did hear that reds were trending, you know, but, it, you know, like some of the brighter reds uh, for spring, summer. And this was another piece I took a chance on. And uh, because it was a, it's a, it's a Max Jeans, I normally do not get this brand, Max Jeans, but it is a pink denim jacket. Isn't that cute with the cinch waist? Um, actually, this would look adorable on. If it doesn't sell, I don't, I can't wear peach. Peach is not my color. And this is kind of a peachy pink, but um, it's, a, I just thought, uh, that might be worth getting. I like it. It's got a little bit of weight to it. That's the only thing. And it might have to go priority and you have to charge for more. This was another filler piece I consider because I wasn't sure about getting this, but the last minute enough to have my five for five because I had two or three other bags out in the garage um, that I got today besides this bag. And it's Orvis. Now Orvis men's. Um, some of their like flannels and things like that can do great. I have a quarter zip, I think it is listed right now. And there's been some attention on that, but you got to watch it because 
I have had, I think it was new with tags or a sweater, and they can, I think they sell them on like Amazon. And, uh, but I went ahead and got it as a filler. It's an Orvis. This is actually a really nice shirt, though. It's an extra large button up, and it's got more of like, I call them like a band collar. They don't have a regular collar, and it's really great condition, but this might be a dud or, you know, not sell for very much and sit for a while. But, like I said, I had to have enough to get. This was another one I took a chance I didn't look up. I looked up a few today, but on the Fridays, I don't look up as much because, you know, it's the 5 for $5 sale. You have to be pretty quick. There's other people, a lot of other people shopping and some other um, other resellers. But I don't normally get Bongo. It's Bongo. The reason I got it is because it's the false vegan leather and it's like a a mauvey pink color and i thought that was the reason i thought you yeah, know well, that might sell i went ahead and got it i didn't do comps on that okay now on to the two pieces this is the smart wool brand new with tags i was super happy this is a great brand even if it's not brand new with tags it's one of the really great brands Icebreaker and Smart Wool are the two, are two really great ones. Usually they're um, merino wool. This is incredibly soft. This is what the tag looks like on here. They have a little guy logo, but it's kind of covered up. Well, he's on here, and that sometimes will be on the um, out you know on the item. I had to pay seventeen ninety nine for this, but I bought it because this actually. I was thinking it was, I don't I didn't even really pay attention to what it was at the store because it was brand new with tags, smart wool. It's actually a poncho and it's kind of almost a little aztec -y. and Aztec stuff can add value, you know, to items, but I didn't even look up comps on this. I'll have to uh, check that out. Okay, here we go. This is the CC Filson. I was looking through the plus size women clothing and found this. I think it was over there and I was super happy. I have been reselling since I think 2004, 2000, or I mean 2014 or 2015. I've only, I think I've only found this brand two other times. One a long time ago and then one maybe a year, year and a half ago maybe. Um, maybe two years I found a pair of pants. I can't remember what the first item was. And this is a, a really great brand. Big Bolo for men's department. I don't know. I don't think they make women's. They could. This is actually a black and it's a quarter pullover. This actually is really thick material. It's made very nice, very durable. And I think they're like an outdoor, um, you know, brand. And this wasn't on sale. It was $9.99. I went, of course, I went ahead and got that right away. As soon as I seen it, I grabbed it. But anyhow, that completes the haul. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. If you'd like, you can subscribe. I got a lot of other videos up. I have some up where um, I talk about the sales for the week, um, how much sold, you know, on eBay and Poshmark and kind of do the numbers a little bit. And it, if you could uh, push the thumbs up button, I'd greatly appreciate that too. Many prosperous sales to you. Thank you.